Hey everyone, it's Eric, and today we're going to be talking about a fun candle comparison between Goose Creek's Homemade Cherry Pie and Goose Creek's Peter Rabbit Mrs. Rabbit's Cherry Pie. So I've recently purchased both of these candles, and at first I just assumed they would be the exact same candle, just in different packaging, because why would a candle company go and make two different cherry pie fragrances? Let's not make any snap judgments. <laughs> but when we start to take a little closer look at these candles, they do list slightly different scent notes. Your homemade cherry pie is baked cherry filling, warm pie crust, mixed berry, and vanilla, while your Mrs. Rabbit's cherry pie is baked cherry filling, homemade pie crust, warm butter, and vanilla. So there is a slight difference in the listing of these candles, which doesn't necessarily mean anything, but when you smell them side by side, we'll start with this homemade cherry pie. Smells good. You get the pie crust and like a tart cherry filling fragrance. And then we have Mrs. Rabbit's cherry pie. Again, you have the pie crust, but the cherries smell like more sugary and lighter, not as tart. Very interesting, you guys. So what we're going to do is I'm going to burn both of these candles at the same time, each in rooms of about the same size, so it'll be fair. And I'll give them the exact same amount of burn time, and we'll see if there's any difference between these two cherry candles. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen and contestants to the sixth annual pie baking contest. Now remember, we all start together at the signal and may the best pie win. All right, I am back and the results are in on homemade cherry pie and Mrs. Rabbit's cherry pie. Let's first take a look at their wax pools. They both have a similar wax pool. Their wicks are behaving nicely, nothing too aggressive here. So that's good, but that is where their similarities end. These two candles, it's like comparing apples and oranges. I was so surprised by this, you guys. I really thought I was gonna sit down here and say, yeah, they're pretty much the same candle, just pick which package you like better, but that is not the case. These candles are completely different in every way. So let's start with homemade cherry pie. Oh, that sounds delicious. <laughs> homemade cherry pie, you get this tart cherry fragrance, and the pie crust to me in that candle is pretty much non-existent. I really don't get any pie crust. I just get this tart cherry scent. It's a little on the artificial side, you guys. I will say it's a little on the artificial side. Uh, the throw, maybe a medium. It filled out the enclosed space fairly well, but I think it would struggle down here in an open concept space. It wasn't a super strong scent. Mrs. Rabbit's Cherry Pie. Mrs. Rabbit was very busy baking pies in her kitchen. Walnuts, nutmeg, and of course my secret ingredient, which you will never, ever know. This is a super gourmand fragrance. Uh, very heavy on the pie crust. It's this flaky, buttery pie crust scent with a little almond in there. And then there is this light cherry, kind of sugared cherry scent that will waft past your nose every now and then. It's not super strong on the cherry. The pie crust is definitely the dominant fragrance in Mrs. Rabbit's cherry pie, but it's so good, you guys. It smells so good. The throw on Mrs. Rabbit's cherry pie is strong. It has a very strong throw. It filled out its room, no problem, traveled down the hallway and into the room where homemade cherry pie was and started taking over there as well. So Mrs. Rabbit's cherry pie will have no problem filling out an enclosed space or an open concept space for that matter. So totally different candle as far as the throw and the fragrances, you guys. Without a doubt, that was the biggest surprise. I'm reeling from shock about you two, but... I definitely plan on buying a few more Mrs. Rabbit's Cherry Pie because it has such a wonderful gourmand scent. I love that flaky buttery pie crust and that wonderful light sugary cherry pie kind of wafts past my nose every now and then. I do wish it was just a little bit stronger with the cherry, 
but overall the cherry at least smells more authentic in the Mrs. Rabbit's cherry pie. If you have either homemade cherry pie or Mrs. Rabbit's cherry pie, please leave comments down below. Let me know what you think of them. Your experience might have been different than mine. And as always, please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. With Mr. Mooney, one of the judges, I don't stand a chance. Oh, they don't put the names on the pies. They just use numbers so they can be impartial. Oh, well, then I've got as much chance as anybody else. Yes, you have a big chance until the judges taste your pie. <laughs>